Right now, let's go live. This is the Bathurst in St. Clair area. This is where Mitzi Hunter is discussing her plan to address essential city services, including road safety. So today, I am here to talk about cleaner and safer streets and reducing congestion in Toronto. Toronto relies and needs safe and clean streets. The number of potholes repaired in our city has declined. And over the last four years, this has become worse. Last year, we saw more complaints for 311 about snow clearing than ever before. And we're seeing a rising number of motor vehicle accidents and collisions at dangerous intersections like the one that we are at today. In fact, just a few minutes ago, right here on this intersection, we saw a giant dump truck roll up onto the sidewalk just to make this turn. This is an area where seniors live and where, you know, pedestrians and cyclists have to get by safely. And that's why I'm here today, so that on day one, we can begin to tackle these challenges in our city and get Toronto moving. Traffic has been slow in so many areas. There are bottlenecks. We need to unst unstuck our city in this way. It's unacceptable and it needs to be fixed. So there are four key elements to my plan. One, clear our streets of snow faster by increasing the budget in this area by 10 percent. And that includes investing in more modern snow clearing equipment. Two, fill those potholes faster by doubling the budget for pothole maintenance, as well as improving the equipment and making sure that the repairs to our roads get done. Three, making our roads safer, like at this intersection we are at right now, by fixing more the most dangerous intersections and in improving road security, making sure that people are safe. Where we're standing right now, there was a pedestrian accident in the last year. And so we've got to pay attention to these areas of our city and make sure that they are safe for pedestrians, for cyclists, as well as for drivers. And this means adding to our Vision Zero program and making sure that we do things like posting signs, watch your speed, more pedestrian crossovers, more school crossing guards, and more seniors safety zones. I can't stress enough this very dangerous intersection that we are at right now, right in front of a senior's apartment. This needs to be fixed. As mayor on day one, I would pay attention to this. Four, reduce road congestion by taking aim at the bottlenecks and improving traffic flow. People are rightly so fed up by the overlapping, open-ended and ongoing construction.